welcome back. We are on to episode two of Benched. We just got done with the Super Bowl, and there's kind of a lot of conflict going on with the whole Travis Kelsey thing, and I kind of wanted to just chime in on that at the start. Um, I don't know Travis Kelsey. I don't know his relationship with his coach, but I know that in any kind of competitive sport, especially the Super Bowl, the uh, the tensions are going to get high and your emotions are going to be – I mean, that's probably an all-time high for your emotions. So sometimes emotions get the best of people. And I'm not saying that I would act that way. I would never go up to my coach and and do what he did. But I'm also not Travis Kelsey, and I'm um, not a professional football player. I played college baseball and rode the bench. So, you know, I don't really have the whole – big time NFL superstar to go up to my coach and do that. Um, but I feel like he's a team captain. He's a team leader. And um, that's something that, you know, maybe he, maybe it was a mistake, but, and he could have handled the situation a little bit better. Um, but sometimes your emotions get the best to you. And um, people are saying that they think that he may, may be abusive towards Taylor, which I think is, is crazy because you can't judge someone off of one action in a Super Bowl in the heat of the moment with him and his coach. Like him and his coach have a totally different relationship than anybody else knows. Nobody really, really knows that relationship besides him and his team members. And if his team members have something to say about it, then I think that's where the value is going to be. So I don't really know a whole lot about it, but I think that um, I think that he's just going to have to explain the situation. Um, but yeah, anyways, we have a wonderful lady coming on to talk with us today. Um, we actually met her a couple months ago at a country music concert. Um, she's a TikTok star. She blew up in like 2019 and she's continued to grow. Um, she's a really, really lovely lady and we all like her a lot. Um, and I'm excited to have a conversation with her. Please welcome Miss Mandy Bagley. First of all, Mandy, I'm going to start this thing off. Wow, I'm nervous. No. <laughs> um, I saw, okay, right when you walked in on your phone, you had grabbing some guy's hand. Are you taken now? Are you, are you talking? Of course, you're going to start right off the bat with this. Well, what is that? That's wild. Um, I plead the fifth. Whoa. Wait, wait. So you're not so so you're talking to somebody then? Yes. Okay. 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 Whoa. That makes, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Don, Don, where'd you see it on her phone? Is it locked? No, no. She, yeah, she just like brought her, like she set her phone down. No, when you took my phone to like look at my Instagram. Oh, oh that was, okay. That was, you know what? You know what? She's, she's been posting on reels a lot. Go check her out. And we were just we were looking at her reels, and she accidentally turned the phone off. And then I look at her phone, and it, it's her grabbing. It was it was her with grabbing some guy's hand. I couldn't tell, and I was just like, "Hold on a second, that's great." I was gonna ask it right off the bat. Can we not the- get who this is? Like, can you can you give us a? I actually cannot. Can I take a wild <laughs> guess? You can definitely take a wild guess. You saw my phone. Can I guess? What? Oh, you're you might have to clip this shit. <laughs> and you're definitely right though. Yeah. Oh, what so the it's that he, serious? He surprised it, me with a trip to Miami too. Yeah, what about him? Okay, so you just kind of started talking to him, but he is a cool ass dude, and I know him, yeah. and we're not going to disclose his name, but he is a really cool dude, and yeah. we all respect him a lot. So we're going to respect what you have to say about that. Yes. So it's very like religion based and very equally yoked in that sense. Um, it's very nice. It's very yeah. refreshing. I don't even remember booking the flight. I think it all like is like God's will, to be honest with you, because like. I got there and I was like, how did I book my flight? Like, how am I here right now? Uh-huh. Cause I had, I'd never met him before, like blah, blah, blah. And we ended up vibing, clicking instantly. You're hard not to vibe with though. And like, yeah, you're, like you're like one of the yeah. boys. So then it's all, you know what I mean? Yeah, like I do. Like you're a dog. Like I do vibe with everybody, but this was like a not different, everybody, different so. type. Of, yeah, you're so yeah. right actually. That's what I'm saying. Like we, I feel like, like ever since the very- I vibed with you guys though. Yeah, ever yeah. since the very beginning with Mandy, I feel like it's been like, my my dog like like that's my that's like my bro like and and people on social media and like when we're on live and stuff like that like they might think other things even though like we both know it's a complete joking sense and like that's something that I think is cool as shit about you yeah. that's like my my favorite thing when me and Mandy go on live we're having wine night Dude, and it's a yeah. complete joke and guess what when we're on live we have like fifteen hundred viewers literally bro we have fifteen hundred viewers and we yeah it's mm-hmm. it's great it's great that's good for that that's good for a fucking Pretty live epic. battle. I keep cussing, dude. I gotta. Yeah, sorry for the bad yeah, language. Dad- okay, so <laughs> something about something about you is I feel like you kind of, in a way, hide your life. In not not like hide it, yeah. but like you don't bring like your family members a lot into it. You don't bring anybody, which is fine. Like I'm not saying that's bad at all. And I don't know. I just think it's an interesting thing that like you don't bring anybody else in your life. It's just like you and your work, which is great. 
Yeah. But like, what what is your life outside of TikTok like? Like who? I don't, like where'd you come from? What? what okay, so I was what, born. In how New how York. heavy were you when you were born? Okay. Like, yeah. like all that kind of shit. <laughs> I was twenty six point five pounds when I was born. Whoa. <laughs> that's a, no, you weren't. I was a friend. That's a bowling no, ball. Joking. Anyways, <laughs> I was born in New York. I moved to California, moved to Georgia, and then I moved to Florida. And I've been living in Florida for a few years, like two and a half years. Okay, um, so so high school. So, okay. Basically, all you remember, I feel like, is high school. Like, you maybe a little bit of middle yeah. school. Do you remember more than that? Or I never really had I went to private school my whole life. Private um, school? Yeah. I was born into, like, a Christian family. Parents okay. don't drink. They've been together for 25 years type thing. Um, okay, cool. Devote Christians. Did you drink in high school? Um, I You can keep it real. Like, if you started, don't. Yeah, okay. So I started drinking when I was 17. Okay, cool. Not proud of it. Yeah. Don't take after me, kids. Yeah. Um, learned my lesson real fast, to uh -huh. be honest with you. And now I'm, like, closer with God. I feel, like, I feel like a lot of that, like, those decisions where you make when you're younger come from um, you, you had a platform when you were yeah. younger, yeah. like, and all of a sudden you have all these connections and you have millions of people yeah. like looking at you and all of a sudden you get a bunch of different connections with all the social media stuff that you do. Never since, like, I feel like when, when did you start posting on social media? 2020. I was really bored in COVID, COVID. 2020. COVID, so yeah. how old were you? Mm, I was like 16. Whoa, wait, how old are you I wasn't right now? even allowed. I'm 20. I wasn't even allowed to have social media. You're 20? I actually did not know that. Yeah. Whoa, I thought you were like 23, 24, no. my age. I said no. 21. Oh my I'm gosh, 20. you're a baby. Yeah. Um, Whoa, so you've been doing this shit for yeah, a while. But I wasn't allowed to have social media at all. And then my mom found my account once I hit 100,000. And she's like, if you don't like post your butt, if you don't cuss online, like blah, 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 all of this stuff to like keep it like wholesome and stuff. And I've still kept it up yeah. since then um, as the same as I have always been. Okay, yeah, because I feel like your content, like mm -hmm. you just like use your face and like you just use good, like, yeah. um, no. <laughs> Hey, you got the nice teeth on you. <laughs> okay, I'm not. What was that? Well, she had, bro. Hey, she, hey. pause. She has some nice teeth. What was look, that? Out of look, left you can, field. you can. This look. is this is not speed dating. This is not. Okay, sorry. I'm just yeah. giving you some love. Uh, you're my bro. Okay. No. I'm just gonna actually. <laughs> I'm kidding. So you sorry. have siblings? Yeah. I have one sister. One sister. Yeah, she's 22. Um, Does she look like you? Not one bit. Dang it. What? She's shorter than me. She's beautiful, um, but she's like shorter hair. And she's a worship leader. Um, brunette in blonde? Blonde, bleach blonde. Are you naturally brunette or blonde? I'm naturally blonde, but I have both color hair. If you, I dabble with uh, yeah. the how both sides. Work? How does that work? How do you how do you do that? Do you do you, do you like dye? The you, hey hey, <laughs> you go to the salon and say I want brunette. No, my and mom's a hairstylist. Yes. We have a salon in our house. No, because Man Mandy has a different hair color than I've seen. Like that that's yeah. not like the normal thing. Like I feel like it's like the under layer is like. Yeah, no, it is. It's, what is it it's called? It's brunette underneath. It's uh, I call it my bipolar hair. <laughs> I feel like you're I feel like they're like just sitting. out of the cut <laughs> over yeah. here. We're yeah. just sitting over here. Y'all are over here listening. Flirting. Like we y'all do y'all's thing. This is y'all's podcast. We're gonna no, chill. Okay, sorry. I, 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 know. I get here. caught up in the moment. I'm sorry, I'll guys. I'll sit over here and just watch. Wait, 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 wait. I'm wait. thoroughly enjoying it. Shut up. Can we talk about how uh, me and Fisher are actually matching? Because we're the only ones with good style. That's what I'm saying. Me and Mandy actually have style. such a back road style right now. Yeah, Luke can get some, dude. Yeah, hey. come on. This is corn fed diesel. And then Dalton's style. wearing my pants. Hey, my shirt. Oh my gosh, my your fit sponsored by me. All right, but well, this is a question for all of us. I want. I just want to hear like what are all of our ideal dates. So obviously for you two, it's going to be like, what would you guys do for a first date? But we're going to start with Mandy. What would be the ideal date? So say a guy was bringing you out to dinner or whatever you want to say. What would be your ideal situation? Okay, so I love dressing up. So I want him. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. Um, I would want him to be like, hey, I am picking you up at blah, blah, blah time. We're going somewhere fancy. Or not even fancy. Yeah. We're going to... Whatever he wants to do. We're going wherever tell you I'm taking doing. you at this time. I don't want to know about it. I want him to surprise me. I want him to thoroughly plan it out. Okay. Show It like shows like you care about someone, right? Right? Boys, mm -hmm. boys, boys. I yeah. agree. Learn. Um, okay, so fine, so the <laughs> gist of it is that, that you want to be like no, yeah, at wine and dined. Um, pick me up. I do not want to be your chauffeur. I do not want to be. You cannot be my passenger princess type vibe. Um, and I just want to like, I don't know. I feel that no, no, no. yeah, just I, something I agree. sentimental like him like actually like listening to me like my favorite food sushi. Okay, let's get sushi. Like, yeah, yeah. 
type thing. Yeah, yeah, like just like make it important, like make it obvious that, that, like, that it's actually, important. Like, that the guy, the man is actually like listening to the girl. Yeah, and he pays attention to what you had to say. You guys texted yeah. about the day. You're getting sushi for lunch, and all of a sudden he's like, two weeks later, let's go get sushi. Yeah, at your favorite restaurant. Exactly. Okay, yeah, I agree. Um, Fisher, you got something? You go with <laughs> I want to hear you. So first, first date, first, first date. date. First day, I'm going to keep it like, if it's the first day, I'm keeping it a little bit casual mm -hmm. just because I don't really know like about the girl. So I'm thinking. What do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. What no, do you mean? Like, I'm like, <laughs> so hey, like Tinder? Why would you take your girl on a date you that you don't Tinder? know? Oh, we're I not don't. talking blind date. We're Dude, talking. I, I take girls on dates all the time. Okay, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Not anymore. That's but what I'm like, saying, but like. It's just, it, it just has to be like something casual. But I'm obviously, like Mandy said, I'm going to plan something out like that she doesn't know. And just be like, hey, I'm going to pick you up. If I really like her, I'm showing up with flowers. Not even gonna lie. Okay, that's yeah. W. That's, just that's like, a W. Man. What's up? I got flowers. I was thinking about you, and then we're going to dinner. And I'm not after dinner. I'm not going back to anyone's house just because I want her to know I'm not here to smash. I'm here to get to know you. Smashing will come after the ring. Mm, I can get down. Yeah, it. Fisher. I don't even know. Mine's like a super cash. Listen. So if I have a girl. It, it Like you said, if I don't know her well, I'm just going to be like, hey, let's go out. Let's do something, I don't know what, Saturday, all right? And then I pick her up, and I'm just going to pick it up on the fly. And I want to go do something active. I don't want to go sit around somewhere. Okay. I'll be like, let's go to. That's fair, but like, what do you do that's active? Because I can't find I don't know. There's to do no, with I don't either. Top I'll go to Top Golf. Top Golf. Top Golf. Top Golf, top golf. golf is it's basic, yeah, but good. watch your girl look stupid. Yeah, yeah I want to. I yeah. kind of want to see what she has in and Top you, Golf. And you first. get dinner there. You get dinner there too. Their food is good. Yeah, you eat so good chicken sandwich. But like, dude, oh I'm talking gosh. like I've never had a good time like going out with just a girl and like bowling or ice skating or something. Bowling like, sucks. It's weird. Never take a girl bowling. Yeah, it's just weird. Her nails. I disagree with that. Man, bowling sucks. No, I love bowling. Okay, what activities do girls like to do that are or not what like, activities yeah like if you were gonna go like okay well, like i don't know personally i me i like like golfing that's one probably my top thing um, are you good are you like a gym date are you maybe good at golf? Are you yes good? i am actually a gym date that's a gym ironic. date i would oh. mm, uh, yeah that's, that's what you could like a hundred percent marry me if you take me on a gym date like Speaking of, that's our next conversation, but keep going. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, that's about it. To be that's honest. like off yeah. the rip. I'm trying to be like, let's go play basketball or something that she probably wouldn't enjoy that much. But if she's like down to do basketball? it, then it's like, then it's like oh, yeah, she'd be you cool just to be dunk around. Caught her and hey, bro. Like, hey, if she's Fisher, down to go play Fisher. basketball. Hey, it's a good thing you look pretty, bro. It's a good thing. I already have a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't even have yeah, I'm really not, exactly. That's question. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't Yo, matter. I'll be you look great. six. I already did it, right? Bring the ball. Yo, we're having all the boys over to my house. Do you want to come hoop? Oh, wait. Okay. Wait. Wait. That's another thing. Introducing your girl to the boys. That's crucial. huge. Okay. Crucial. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be so a like, dog. is does the like if your boys vibe with the girl, is that like if they don't vibe Vital. with her, is that like is that like a break make a break? It deal? is a make a break yes. deal because it's yeah. like especially like living together, she's mm -hmm. gonna be over a lot, so it's gonna be like yeah. she has to feel comfortable with my friends, like because we I'm obviously not, all vibe together. Yeah. Like, like that. Like yeah. we wouldn't be living together and hanging out with everybody, yeah. having a great time if we don't vibe together and she doesn't vibe with all of us. Then Fisher's gonna have issues in the long run. Yeah, and if like Fisher's not boys. here and his girl is here, like it should be like a mutual like comfortability. Like, okay, oh yeah. hey, that's yeah, I yeah. vibe with you. That's cool. Everybody feels comfortable. So I'll, I'll so go. Fisher's ideal date is um one basketball one with up. the boys. Yeah, uh, she's <laughs> featuring down. his girl. If she's down. Then to be Fisher's walks. been doing that though. He's been doing yeah, that. Yeah, he but Fisher he, just got the riz. Though. Yeah, Fisher is. He, he's got. He's he got does have riz. riz. Yeah. I mean, look at you, bro. You're pretty. You're a pretty dude. Both of you guys. Both of you guys. You guys got it going on. I'm, I'm, so are you? Why you? I was giving you nuts and you grabbed my hand. Dalton, when's the last time you even went on a date, like a real date? No, that's what I was just about to say. To be honest, like I'm, I will not take a girl on a date. Like, I'm not going to go out to dinner with her unless I actually really like her. That's like, fair. really, I have to really, really like the girl or else I won't be. I'm not good at engaging in conversations with people. Like, that's like one of my downfalls is engaging with conversations with people that I don't care about. It's like I keep my circle tight. Which is good because yeah. you won't lead a girl on. Yeah, I keep mine tight, too. I did. How many dates have you guys been on? I've been on a ton of dates. A lot. From the time <laughs> I've done Fisher, I've... It might be the blue collar work Luke, that's doing bro. it for the girls. To Luke be honest will, with you. No, here's how Luke. I I dated a girl for five and a half years. I dated a girl for five and a half years in, in from you, high school. You might as well just get married. Holy crap! What are you saying, Fisher? Luke, I did. what? His little date. He'll literally snap a girl for like a day. Next day, if she's anywhere close, 
who ripped the date question. So he he oh, goes date. on dates like every other week. Yeah. With a random chick. And then that's how but it's that's fine. It's not like he's like leading him no, on. Yeah. He's getting and to know. The reason I take him on dates is because like no matter what happens on that date, they have a good memory of me. Like, oh, he took me to a dinner. Like we had a good time. It didn't work out, but Girls whatever. Love it's dates. a good rep. Girls yeah. love dates. Yeah. Like I mean, like before like this now. I used to go on them all the time. And I knew nothing was really gonna come out of it unless like we really vibe, but like it's I don't know. It's like nice to like meet someone new, have a new experience, and like Spe- figure out what kind of guy you like or like what kind of girl you like. Mm. Like, why didn't you marry her? And how old were you? Because we're in the same boat here. You okay. should have. Same here. Um, yeah. So, I mean, this is kind of off topic, like, but what? we all dated girls for like over four years. I did. Yeah. So I dated right. a girl for five years. Um, I met her my freshman year of high school, and then uh, I guess whatever you want to call it, fell in love with her, and. Dated her for all of high school, and then I committed to University of Washington my sophomore year of high school, and then senior year came around, and she ended up going to Washington with me. Um, And then I wanted to have, like, the college lifestyle or whatever you want to call it and experience college. I know. Yeah, it's it's not worth it whatsoever. She broke up with me because I couldn't pull the trigger. I couldn't I couldn't break up with her. Is she dating anybody now? Uh, she, Dude, she broke up with me in, like, three, four weeks later, she started dating a new wow. guy. Still oh. with him? Uh, no, no. She dated him for like a couple years in college. Okay. So and she's the problem. Um, no, no, I was a problem. No, oh. I was, I was a problem. I, w- I was a problem. Well, I know what you did because you're like you wanted the relationship to end in your mind, but you didn't know how to do it, so you started being a shitty boyfriend, and then she dumped. Yeah, you. I just started putting yeah. in no effort, yeah. and she started to recognize that. That happens. I yeah. couldn't pull Wait, the trigger I because I liked her a lot. How many yeah. times have you all told somebody you loved? One time. Twice. Twice. Uh, Zero. Twice. Zero. I think it's a very sentimental word. I agree, and that I shouldn't wish be used that over, I think it's it, overused. Yeah, I think it is sentimental, but like if you're dating somebody and like, you said, "Do you want to be my girlfriend?" Like obviously, yeah. with with some time, like I do love you. Like, yeah, with some you time. are like yeah. I say, "Love you to Fisher" and like stuff like that. Okay, but that's not the same. Yeah, like yeah, actually, like, like like I'm in love with you. Yeah, yeah. Like I've that, that is never. Yours is zero. Like that. Yeah, that's impressive. That's actually. Have you? How many good. relationships have you been in? I have been in three. And you didn't say love you. How long were they? Relationship like no longer than three months. Oh, mm. well, that's well, there you go. Fisher, how long did it take <laughs> you to say that? Stage. Drop the L bomb with uh, Laney. I, I actually, funny story on the, the L bomb there. We were t- in a we were just chilling outside of a Hobby Lobby, and I <laughs> accidentally great, man. I accidentally ripped it. So I was like, I guess mm. I well, I'm not, Wait, no, no, I guess I love you. Like, no, yeah, no, like she was like, uh, we were talking about. Something stupid, just like messing around, and she's made a joke. You don't even like me, like a joke like that. And I just accidentally was like, no, I, and I said it, and I was like, whoa. Oh, she was probably so happy. I was like, crap. I was like, when no, a guy yeah. says it first, girls love that. Yeah. I'm trying to yeah. get into like gym influencing and crap. Like that. That's what I. Speaking of gym influencing, I have been noticing like you're like you look so good, like you're like, yeah. I don't want to say your body, but like no, like yeah. yeah, I guess your body, like yeah. Your body and like just like your your physique and the way you've been going about everything, I've been like, mm-hmm. I, I texted you about that the other yeah, day. Yeah, you did. I texted you and I was like, Yo, Mandy, like I'm I'm so proud of you. Like everything you've been doing, I yeah. see you've been in the gym and like your results show. And I've been like, yeah. Dang, like that's that's really cool. So I, I literally yeah. reached out to her the other day. Yeah. And I was like, Yo, Mandy, like whatever you're doing is sweet. Yeah, what, dude? If you were in the gym, no, right now? honestly, that like makes me feel really good. Like, I validation is not something that I really need. It's like validation in myself, to be honest yeah. with you. But like hearing it from somebody else, especially like. That when you're trying me. to like get somewhere with your body, your goals, your physique, whatever, especially in the gym, like yeah. it, it's nice to hear it from somebody else. Yeah, well, I, just, I wanted to make sure you knew that. Yeah. But speaking of speaking of getting somewhere, what so like where do you want to go? Like what 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 is the roadmap for Mandy Pandy? Like where does she where does she see herself in three years? What do you what do you want to be doing? Because you obviously have the platform for it. Pop, lots of people are gonna hate on this. I really want to be a housewife in the really? next three years yes but i also want to ma- i still want to make content i want to i'm gonna start hopefully trying to get into like the cooking and like the nutrition side of things and like videoing that because i did go to culinary school um so uh, i studied yeah. abroad and learned how to cook there and all that crap but uh i want to get into it like on like social media platforms and like teach people how to like eat healthier like i think that's a big thing nowadays. so where do you so i feel like the, a lot of the uh influencing genre whatever you want to call it is going towards 
audiences or people, the, all of the value is going to go to people that are providing value. Mm -hmm. So like the people that are going to be making money and doing well in the industry, I feel like it's going to go towards people that are providing value. Yeah. So like where do you provide value for somebody if you want to do cooking and influencing or, or fitness and whatnot? Mm -hmm. Where are you going to provide value for people? Okay, well, see, when I first like started, like I'm like, I want to like eat healthier because like, mm -hmm. I've been going to the gym. Like our bodies are a temple for God, so yeah. why not take care of it? And so I started like looking on Instagram reels on how to like cook better, eat better, like not even just like protein count, calorie count. I think that's really unhealthy, even though I do it. Um, but like I would provide value wait, to wait, wait, the wait, people. Wait, 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 wait. Why do you think it's unhealthy? It's if you unhealthy. Do it? I've gotten stuck in a rut of counting my calories for like a year now. Really? Yeah. And like if I do eat too many calories, I'm like, dang, I'm fat. Really? Yeah. So do you get do you get uh what is it called like body dysmorphia? Dysmorphia, yeah. Really, because you're but like ripped. Just so you know, <laughs> like you're like like you have abs. Yeah. So like unless I you, eat. <laughs> what do you mean unless? You, no, come on, no, no, don't think like that. This is water, we're back. We had a little um little break and yeah, we're back, baby. All right, Mandy, let's hear it. So you're back, Tat. Yeah. Yeah. All right, there you um, go with this. That was out of left field. No, no, no. Okay, no, I really want one, but I don't want people to get the wrong idea because there is like a... No, you're a gym girly. They don't get the wrong idea from that. You're a gym girly. Like when you're in there showing your back muscles and shit and you're Yeah, but I don't want to do it for other people. It's mainly no, it's just for, like you. for me. Yeah. It's for you when you're in there looking... Your back's looking jacked and you're flexing. <laughs> your back tattoo is for nobody else besides you. Yeah, you, you no, it's look genuinely at it. just for me. And... But like, Some okay, other... Luke. Yeah. So like, what would you think if like you saw a girl out and about in a club in the gym with a back tat? What are you thinking? Like she got it for male validation or what? No, oh, I. I don't know if this is controversial. Because I don't it's on mean your back, for it to be. So like, it, you don't see it. You're saying like, it's like, what did she get it for? Because yeah. she can't see it herself. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I don't like think it's that big of a deal. I think a back is a perfect spot for the pet tattoo because it's such mm -hmm. a big space. Honestly, the reason why I have a back tattoo is just because it's sick. Hey, hey. Oh no, yours hey. is sick. I like it. I, I just asked it. you because right. you have one. Yeah, I that's the best it. part about Luke. If, if I want it, <laughs> if I want it, bro, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I it's don't like, think about it. And also, I have other tattoos all over my body, so mm -hmm. it's like if you just have a back tattoo, a little weird. But if like I'm tatted up, I'm tatted to the gills, dude. I so love your tattoos. I, I think I really like your tattoos. I think you have really oh, yeah. cool tattoos. Sick. Yeah. I think that might have been like one of the first things I said too is like sick tats. Yeah, you, yeah, you did a good job. Mm -hmm. um, Fisher, would you get tattoos? Y'all need them. I won't. I don't have anything against them. I just don't like don't put. I just like, don't prefer the tats. I think it's all comes out of like even, a look because like Fisher has a very classy, like professional, like yeah. kind of almost preppy. Even, not really preppy, but he has a like kind clean. of a preppy, clean look. Yeah, I just yeah. want like not that it's not clean, but for me specifically. I'm not even like against against Christianity or anything. It's just like I'm gonna yeah because you were about to say something like that right? Mm, you said because no, your body. Relate. Speaking of that, yeah, yeah. For for, for me, I feel like I'm just like a kind of in the moment guy. To uh, for for like tattoos, Your I tats? think. No, I don't have any tattoos. Oh. I, I I'm gonna wait. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna wait till I'm married, and then if my wife likes tattoos, and she thinks that I would look good with tattoos, then I would I would get some. Hey, Dolan. You well, look I think really nice be... with tattoos. No, no, but for <laughs> real though, because I don't want I don't want to get all yatted out. And then all of a sudden, like, the girl that I'm c completely in love with and want to marry, and she doesn't like tattoos whatsoever, I don't want to worry about getting them removed. Oh, that not that you would ever, because it's, like, it's not like you're all yatted out like crazy, you yeah. know what I mean? Well, even if I was, it's like, the girl that I attract, I would like her to think, oh, he's got his own thing going. He, yeah. exactly. he wanted tattoos, he exactly. got them, whatever. Exactly. It doesn't matter. That, there's, there's, two, yeah. there's two great ways to look about it. There's that way, which, like, the girl that comes to you is going to like you for who you are, and mm -hmm. she's going to like your tattoos, because she's going to know that. Yeah. Or it's like... Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep myself how I am, and then if she likes tattoos and she thinks that I would look good with tattoos, and I like the tattoos too, then maybe I'll think about getting them. That's all. That's my mindset. Yeah, and I think it, like as a person, you can tell if somebody's meant to be tattered or not. Yeah, like you are seriously born with a certain like thing about you. Would I like? Would I look good with tattoos? Small ones. Really? Yeah. You're not somebody I would see yatted out. No leg, little... no leg tats for really? you. To really? be honest Man. with yeah. you, I see like a, yeah, like a band or something yeah. on your forearm. Mm. But cool. Fisher, yeah, you're you definitely have that clean look to you. What does Lainey Thanks. think about him? Did you have it like she didn't have like she's does not she have song. tattoos? No. Okay. Two clean people. Makes sense. So 
I actually have a question for Mandy. Oh God, I really do. Luke, you scare me. No, it's not. It's nothing crazy. Okay. But you want to see my foot? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Why are you me ripping no shoes? Can we get the dogs out? Well, well, pe- well, how much does this cost? I mean, you can go on Reddit and find them. Realistically, some, some oh. sick freaks make made an album of my feet. Dude, I have a TikTok that's called Fisherman's Feet. Are you serious? Can I'll you actually like lick the link that in like the bio? Or Wait, what was your question? I'm so sorry. Sorry. Oh my gosh! Um, now that Mandy's got now that Mandy's got a guy that she's talking to, she won't rip the dogs out for the boys. <laughs> Dude, if I was talking Man, to if guy, you were, hey, t- tell me that's not true. If you weren't, if you weren't, not that you're dating, talking, whatever you want to say, whatever, whatever you got going on. If you weren't, feet. if you weren't doing that, would you rip your dogs out? I feel like she would right now. We just didn't like press her hard enough. Yeah, no, it. I was actually about to take my okay. sock off. I really don't think it matters. Um, I think that people would love blank, to see your dogs. Un- why are you I'm sorry if my feet. No. I mean, can we talk about how weird people are that have foot fetishes? Wait, yeah, why are what you? What is that? What, why were you just flaring your dogs? What is a foot can you fetish? flare them for me? I have a foot fetish. Can you flare them? Do you act? I feel like you're the type of girl that walks around barefoot all the time. I don't actually. I have to have socks on. I sleep with socks on. Okay, good. Wait, Luke, what was your question? I actually have a reoccurring uh, thing of athlete's foot that I'm trying to work on. But anyway. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, no, it's because. What? It's because Luke past- Bowen, foot chungus yeah, and cheese. There's no way. It's because the past two years I've been wearing boots Bro, on, on the job site. So it's like my feet have never dried. Okay, can you ask <laughs> anyway, me a question? Ask her the question. Okay, so I was looking you up just to, like prepare and do my thing, you yeah. know? And it turns out that you actually sing. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> that was random. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew that so too. Like, that what, was like three years ago. So what made you stop? Like, do you, do I saw you the YouTube video. Like that, yeah? What? 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 The YouTube videos? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's one singular one. Is that something you would pursue or no? I definitely would. It's yeah. just... Mm. You have such a good talking voice. I do. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that it's like if some uh, apparently if you have a good talking voice, then you can learn how to sing. No, yeah, but my whole family. My dad was like an Elvis impersonator. Like my sister's a worship leader at a church. She has an amazing voice. She can sing opera. She can sing anything. She's amazing. And my mom can also sing. So you like could, my it, it runs in my family. So you got some pipes on you for sure. Yeah, it's just I don't like to sing like that. It's not something that you're passionate about. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, you don't have like I have other talents passion. that I would like yeah. to show. Like on, I go, I'll, I'll go on live and I'll play the piano and sing mm-hmm. for people on live, and yeah. I'll play like oh, worship, yeah, I'll play worship music on live, and people love it. They eat it up, and I love doing it for the people. Like, and they're like, "What song is this?" And it's like a worship song, and it's, I just really like, like, showing that side of me on live, but not pre-recorded. Like, so you are there. like super religious, like that. Yes. So have you seen yes. that like? Or I don't know, for myself, I feel like TikTok <laughs> t- t- <laughs> I feel like TikTok has been like almost like a challenge in my mm-hmm. religion. Yeah. Uh, being a Christian, TikTok has almost challenged me of like, okay, what am I really doing here? Yeah. Because I'm searching for validation from women, stuff like this. And I feel like starting TikTok almost brought me further away from God until I reset my motives towards tiktok yeah so have you noticed that too yeah no that was the start of my downfall actually Mm -hmm. and then recently um i had a friend who died and um it was actually at rock the south and whoa really um yeah and it kind of set my whole perspective into a different way because my main thought was i really hope he went to heaven and i was scared i was so scared that i was not going to make it to heaven yeah that it brought me into the fear, and I hate that that had to be like the turning point for my religion, like to jumpstart like my lukewarm religion to like full blast. But it really put things into perspective of like I really want to get to heaven and be closer to God. So yeah, and the person that I am talking with right now has really helped me put things into perspective with that as well. Which like, that's one thing I, I like. We, we do Bible studies guy. together. Yeah. We worship together. Like everything is God centered, and I feel like it's just so different from other relationships that I've been in, like I actually feel safe and I feel like if like there's a problem, we can relate it back to God and not have to worry about like... It's because from the start, especially knowing that guy and seeing his stuff, mm-hmm. that's one thing I regret not telling him mm-hmm. when I met him because I was fanboying. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I, I was nervous. Yeah. But um, just because he's like a staple of the fitness and Christianity yeah. content. Yeah. But one thing I do respect about him is like his post about God. And so like you started to talk to him from the start, your relationship with him is built 
mm-hmm. off God. On God. And so, equally yoked. That's yeah, why it says in the Bible, it's, e- it's better yeah. to be equally yoked with your yep. partner. Very true. Because then you guys have the same perspective on things. Very you can true. relate back to God with issues. And that's how my parents have been together for 25 years is because they relate back to God on everything. It is super hard, though, like being an influencer and like getting caught up into this so said influencer lifestyle mm-hmm. because of Christianity. It's, it's it is a challenging thing. It's like giving I yourself hate, yeah. temptations. I hate that much. like like the audios I use are not holy at all and yeah. I, I understand that and I really really want to get away from that. And it's and, just and so some of that comes from a work perspective too. It's like you get yeah. these sound from like your sound pr- promos, dude. It's I have like, to turn down some because like it's all like cussing and I just don't do that on yeah. social media. So you know yeah, so you really don't cuss that much on social media. N- or, not at all. Really? Nobody will ever find a video of me cussing on social media. Really? Good for yeah, you. Yeah, me neither. That's how I've always been. Yeah. Mm. I don't have any talking videos. I've mouthed I've mouthed the B word before. No, even the mouthing even yeah. mouthing, I don't even yeah. do that before. Do not do that. Yeah. Really? It's just like how do you want to be seen? Yeah. Like Exactly. But if you know me in person, I'm just like such a different person. See, I'm <laughs> just like I'm just see I'm I'm, I'm just, just very out there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm just like a I, I say it how it is on my page. Not 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 that I don't like yeah, I, I, I don't really care. Like, I'm yeah. just going to do exactly what I do in real life. So, like, I don't want to, like, hide something to portray some image. Yeah. Not that you guys are doing that. And, like, we're working towards, for both of you guys, like, we're working towards, like, not doing that. You know what I mean? Like, just being exactly who you are, which is hard to do because you hear the beep, beep, beep. And all of a sudden, <laughs> it's like, who the fuck am I really? You yeah. know what I mean? You're putting on a smile. You're yeah, so it's like you're putting ad. on some other thing. So, like, that's something that I kind of started to learn how to do in college, especially being in a locker room around a bunch of people. That's kind of what opened me up with, like, having my personality out there and, and just being exactly who I am. <laughs> but that's where I'm – because I don't want to, like, talk about I – mean, okay, well, one with me is I don't actually cuss. Fisher really doesn't cuss. I don't yeah. cuss. I mean, yeah. not that I never cuss, but I just don't cuss. I don't put them in my vocabulary. But I don't want to put stuff out there as in if I'm flaunting it. Like, I, like that's who I am. Like, it's cool. To, like, you know? Like, if I, I've done bad things and I'll talk about it, but I want people to know, like, I'm not proud of it. Well, and cussing also – like, really, cussing is a lack of creativity of words – so like if I have, I think it adds, no, bro. But, oh, it, it, fuck. but, but that's Get what I'm some. getting at. That's that's yeah, what I'm getting womp, at. Womp. That's what I'm getting at. Because my because comedy in real life, like, in, in sitting here person to person, you can add cuss words tastefully to make something more funny. But like if you can't come up with something funnier in a one minute to thirty second video, better than the f word or the whatever you want to say, then you like it's just you're failing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I see what you're saying. Like, yeah. Because, like, in person, you can tastefully add cuss words in to make people laugh. But that's given in the... <laughs> that's, that's, tastefully. But, mm, but that's given sexual. in perspective. In perspective. Mm. Yeah. But, like, on a one-minute video, I'm not going to just throw in the F word because I can easily see... Oh, I've said done the F that. Word right you could there. definitely... Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I wanted to ask Mandy. Um, we, I wanted to kind of go back to the whole fitness thing because you were talking about, like, what you eat and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I kind of wanted to hear about, like... Well, what you got on that with the whole like um like what you eat and how you were talking about how like you don't advise it but you do it like what what is that yeah um okay so like you know there's like day in the lives of like girls eating food mm-hmm. basically everybody has a different metabolism it's all like of one this piece stuff. of toast yeah <laughs> <laughs> um dawn was just asking me before like when we weren't recording on like what i eat in a day basically and what i said was my first meal is usually at one o'clock and I don't advise that for anybody usually. Um, and it's usually a smoothie, a protein smoothie. And it, that's mainly just because I do fasted workouts and I, that's not healthy at all. I know people, you need carbs and stuff before you work out. It's just the thing is with me and body dysmorphia, I feel fat if I eat like the slightest bit before the gym. And I feel like a lot of girls can relate to that. And I'm not promoting like an unhealthy lifestyle of like not eating before the gym or not eating at all mm-hmm. and like starving yourself. And I'm not starving myself. It, like in you my, get in enough, my uh, eyes, enough, I get yeah. enough. Yeah, okay. Like on a calorie deficit, like you basically. You, it's not like you, you're not eating. It's like you're eating. It's, I feel better working out on a little bit of food, not a lot. But yeah. like you're, you're, you're like if I'm working out on a bunch of food, I feel heavy. And then yeah. I like look in the mirror. I'm like, dang, I'm like actually fat. And I know yeah. I'm not. Mm-hmm. It's just my brain talking. Yeah. 
Because you want to look like, I mean, I mean, a lot of people on social media like post these things. And like you said, mm -hmm. you, you see these girls in these day in the lives or whatever you said. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of those people look a certain way. They have a certain image, even with guys. Like we see yeah. these guys like us three. We see these guys and they look absolutely diced up. They look incredible, right? Yeah. So then it's like, okay, well, how do I look like that? And then, you know, whatever you have to do to look like that. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's challenging mentally to, you know, put up with that. So, so my question was... Do, do you feel that, that because you said you don't advise it, do you yeah. feel um, that you're not as mentally where, not mentally like like where you would want to be or, or how, how do you feel your best? Where do you feel your best? Is it is it where you're at right now with the fasted cardio yeah. or fasted workout? Do you feel good mentally and everything? Because mm -hmm. that's the important part. Yeah, that, this, that's the thing is like I eat to where I'm full and that's why in the future I really want to start making cooking videos because I make food that'll sustain me for a while. And it doesn't look like a lot, but you have your greens, you have your protein, you have everything that you need to sustain your body and make you healthy in that meal group. Like even desserts, like, I don't know, like yeah. protein desserts make you full, like sugar's not good for you, shut up. Yeah. You can eat sugar in like, like in proportion and it's yeah. still good for like. That's a lot of the know. misconception with the world these days yeah. is that, that like what you're saying right now is how like you don't eat certain things, you know, because mm -hmm. you don't want to, because you don't want to yeah. look a certain way. But in, in the general scheme of like in the past couple of years that we've built this thing where it's like, okay, like I should eat whatever I want and whenever I want. Yeah. But really, but really it's the discipline people like look at the way Mandy looks and the way, I mean, that's why I asked her how she feels mentally because if she's feeling good mentally and she's being totally honest with herself about every single thing that she's feeling and what she's putting into her body is enough statistically and she's paying attention she's tracking everything then then that should be okay you know what i mean like she shouldn't she, people shouldn't hate on somebody because they're not eating something yeah. because they're trying to look a certain way well, you it's know it's not like i'm limiting myself like i came up to visit ricky and like i was like yo let's order sushi i gobbled sushi down like i ate pff, ricky right i ate all of that sushi like i'm not going to limit myself to like to things like but I personally, if I'm home, like on travel, traveling, it's different. I would love to cook in, but I do not eat out when I am home. Mm -hmm. And that is a personal decision because I think they put so much bull crap yeah. into foods, fast foods, restaurants, all that crap. Like, yes, you can get things like that are good, but personally, I like making my own food. And I, I don't know, it just makes me feel happier and healthier knowing that I'm putting stuff that I know is good for me into my body because... Our body is a temple. Yeah, to God. That's where I. That's where I feel my best. Is where it's like, okay, I'm. I feel my best mentally and physically, and I look my best mm -hmm. when I know exactly what I'm eating. I'm like, okay, I eat this, this, and this, and then if I don't eat any, if I crave something else, that's just my brain telling me and telling me these things. I don't have to. I, this is not going to do me anything having these extra snacks, having these extra food because I want it. Yeah. Like that's not going to do anything for me mentally or physically besides the fact that it's going to get rid of those cravings in my head. So I just don't, I choose not to eat it Yeah. because I know that it's not going to affect me. And like gluten, I say, I say I'm gluten free. I'm not gluten free. I eat gluten free because I know what's best for my body. Cause if I eat gluten, I'm bloated, but like, I'm not going to limit myself to it. If I'm like out and somebody's like, do you want pizza? Heck yeah, I want pizza. You're just gonna poop. <laughs> like a I'm lot. A, yeah, it's, it's just like, I'm going to be bloated. I'm not going to be going out the rest of the night. And that's like a mental thing. Is because you got a little I get I get a get stomach bloated. I get a stomach mm. on me I'm does not gonna lie. Does gluten cause blood bloating? For me it does. <laughs> does it for me it does because it's the carbs that are going into your body for me and I don't know I just feel heavier when I eat gluten so if I it, at sense. home I'll for make, a, I'll make a gluten free pizza <laughs> I will make a cauliflower pizza and I think it's amazing for people are like ew that's gross no it's gas for some reason I'm just all I could think about when Manny was just saying that. Was Mandy with just like a big old tummy on her, like like a little pregnant tummy? <laughs> no, you can look. You can look back at me. Um, <laughs> Not like no, like no. I'm talking like a little, ago. like a pregnant tummy. Like if you like stuck that. Oh. Like. I eat whatever. When, when I, I want. picture Mandy bloated, I picture Mandy like with like a. No, I have like a little gut on her. Yeah, like like because because she's so ripped that like you know the girls like yours. The, you know the pregnant like yeah. the rip me yeah, is you know, me is me <laughs> after the workout not eating for the whole morning is that's the rip me and you then know, I get home eat that smoothie. No longer ripped. It, that's just how it is. That's not true, Mandy. You you just you just see it a different way than other people do. Because you see yourself in the gym lighting when you're fasted, and you're like, I love that. That's why I spend so much time. Okay, yeah. In that. Excuse <laughs> me. I'm sorry. We kind of want to close this thing out with some uh, some goals of yours, or yeah. maybe where you want to be. You know, 
in the next next 12 months this time next year honestly 2024 has started off great i'm gonna be honest with you it's been five days yeah but i got home the second from where i was at um and i got some great information from my parents and then the information with like the relationship things are going great um so i don't know i mean it's already going great Take your time. Yeah. Where do you want, where, realistically, like, think about it. Okay, so I'm doing this thing called my traveling 20s, because I just turned 20 last year. Um, and so I'm trying to travel as much as possible. I was planning on doing a Hawaii trip in, like, the whole month of February, but that sadly got canceled because of some plans that my parents are going through. And so I'm trying to travel as much as possible, and honestly, I really want to make content in each, like, place that I go to like food wise I really want to get into nutrition and I don't know helping people out because like I don't have the best physique ever I'd follow your diet though if you wrote an, yeah. if you wrote if I was a girl mm-hmm. and I saw your body yeah I, I wouldn't listen to you with the way you look and stuff yeah. that's that's gross whatever we're kind of getting sidetracked I don't know, yeah I really just want to get into like the I mean I, like the person I'm talking to right now he's <laughs> what he said the pizza reviews you could be the next Dave Portnoy Oh, reviews. I thought you were bringing it. I don't know. Did you see my private story of me trying to make the pizza? Mm-mm. With Monica. I don't think that? I'm on there. Bleep you can that, bleep bro. that. You can bleep that. Yo, shoot, out, bleep actually. that. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Any, what, were we, what are we talking about? We were talking about 2024, and we were talking about how... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just think it's crazy how... It's just the fitness industry is so toxic and like everybody judges every little thing, even though maybe they're not getting off their couch and actually doing something about it. But, um, hey man, you can't judge you. You really can't. What? You can't judge Mandy. How are you going to judge her? <laughs> Believe me, there's a lot of Dude, hate. There's a lot of Anybody can post anything and someone's yeah. going to be judging it. It doesn't matter. Mandy's who it left by Yeah, but I'm saying, where's, 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 right it, where is it going to hurt? Like, where's that going to actually do damage on her? It's not. Exactly. I've got on my side. Exactly. He knows my heart. He knows my brain. He knows what I'm trying to stand for. That's another thing is I'd, I'd really like to incorporate God into my social media because if you looked at my social media posts, you genuinely would not know I'm a Christian. Yeah, I didn't. And I didn't. which really is sad. It is really sad. And I get a lot of comments on like, why are you wearing snake earrings with a cross necklace? That's... You just like, like you it. See, like, it's not even that too. If you look deeper into the Bible, there's like... Um, but it's in the. You don't have to. Don't have yeah, to, sir, a serpent yeah. isn't exactly the devil. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. That is pretty much it. Um. Thank you so much for coming on. I'm being so serious. Um. It was a pleasure having you on, and there, there really is nothing better than having your friend onto a podcast and just being able to come on here and talk and um see what they have to say about everything. And we do appreciate you so much and. Um, we look forward to maybe having you on here in the future. Actually, we'll have, we would love to have you on here in the future and maybe, uh, maybe you'll have a boyfriend and maybe you'll, you know, (laughs) we'll figure it out. But Mandy, we really do appreciate you so much. All right. We'll see you guys next week. We love you guys so much. Y'all have a good one.